Two prominent players in Michigan's Republican Party now facing criminal charges. They're accused of trying to gain access to Michigan voting machines after the 2020 presidential election. Tonight, Victor Williams breaks down what's next now for former Attorney General candidate Matt DiPerno and former state rep Dare Rendon. Victor. Yeah, Devin, well, this is all after an 18-month investigation, and we cannot emphasize enough that these are criminal charges that these two are facing. Now, at one point, these two were very adamant about the 2020 election being rigged, resulting in the loss for President Trump. Matthew DiPerno, along with former state rep Dare Rendon, are now being charged with accessing and tampering with voting machines in connection to that same election. DiPerno, who was once endorsed by President Trump, Trump is now going up against four charges, four major charges, I should say, which include undue possession of a voting machine and willfully damaging a voting machine, both in which are felonies. Rendon, on the other hand, was charged with conspiracy to commit undue possession of a voting machine and false pretenses. Back in July, a state judge ruled that it's a felony to take a machine without a court order or permission directly from the Secretary of State's office. That felony is now punishable by up to five years years in prison alone. Now, DiPerno, who is a former attorney, uh, excuse me, attorney general candidate, he is, of course, denying all of this in a statement which has recently come out from his attorney, which in part reads, quote, he categorically denies any wrongdoing and firmly asserts that these charges are unfounded and lack merit. Victor Williams, local fair. All right, Victor.